In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Nginx on a Linux EC2 instance on AWS. Here I am on the AWS Management Console. I'm going to go to EC2 and get started. I have no running instances. I have some terminated ones that I was playing around with. So I'm going to launch a new one. Start over fresh. I'm just going to take this top one here. It's free tier eligible. It's a good one to mess around with. We're just going to go with the default settings. Launch. We're not going to do anything special with keys. Um, I'm actually just going to use the web-based SSH that you can use in the AWS console. I'll show you that in a sec. And so I acknowledge and launch. And at this point, we wait. We've got um, here this instance, which is pending. It's getting going. Taking a minute or two, and it'll be up and running. And when it is, uh, we'll start this video back up. No use in you know, sitting here and just watching this thing spin. OK, now we have a running EC2 instance. Let's select it and connect. We're just going to use this browser-based SHH connection, as I mentioned. And here we go. We are in with our brand new EC2 instance. Even though it's brand new, we actually need to do a yum update. Uh, if you look at the message here, it says nine packages needed for security out of 18 available. Run sudo yum update to apply all updates. So I'm going to do that because uh, we're going to use yum here in a minute to install Nginx. And so I want to get all of this noise out of the way. So let's do sudo yum update. Yes, let's install all of them. And this takes 30 seconds or so. And there we go. Everything is now up to date. You might find this command useful. If you do cat on etc slash os release, you find out information about your Linux version. And so in this case, Amazon Linux version 2, uh, it is like CentOS. We are going to use the instructions for CentOS here in just a second to install Nginx. And so that's why I wanted to show you this. All right, so now that we know that we're CentOS, uh, or like CentOS anyway, let's go to Nginx. So here's the Nginx website. It's got instructions on how to install. Uh, here's CentOS or CentOS. To add Nginx YUM repository, create a file named etc yum.repos.d slash nginx.repo. So let's do that. And so I'm going to take that and do a sudo. We'll use vim and create this file. It's blank. So let's take the contents of this right here, paste it in. Now, an important thing to do here, as it says below this, is uh, you need to manually replace the release ver with a valid number. I'm going to uh, change it to 7. It says 5 or 6 there on the page. But that didn't actually work for me, so we're just going to go with 7. And this will work just fine. All right, now um, yum, when I do a yum update, will now know about Nginx. So let's do sudo yum update. And we won't see much because you know, we got rid of all the noise earlier by doing an update. But we do see Nginx. It now knows where it is. That's pretty nice. So now let's do a sudo yum install nginx. And so this will actually install nginx on the machine. And there we go. We're good to go. Now nginx is installed, not running. Let's test that. Let's do a curl to localhost port 80. Nothing there. All right. Well, let's get nginx started. So sudo service 
nginx start. All right, so now it's it's actually going. So let's go back and do our curl again. And this is the default nginx HTML page. So that actually worked just fine. If we want to stop the service, we can do that. If we do curl once again, it doesn't work. So let's get it started. And everything at this point is good. All right, we can now curl and nginx is running. What's What we want to do now though, is even though nginx is running, uh, and we are technically done, uh, we can't actually see it, at least externally. Because right now, the security rules uh, don't allow any inbound HTTP connections on port 80. So let's go do that. So let's go to Launch Security Wizard 6 down here on our instance information. And that could say something else, Launch, launch Wizard 1 or 2 or whatever. But that's what we want. This will take us to our security groups, and so we're going to go to our inbound rules, and we're going to edit those, and we're going to add a rule for HTTP, port 80, there's, there's actually nothing else to do, just HTTP, and it defaults to what we want. So I'm going to save that. Now we should actually be able to hit this in the browser, so let's go see. Uh, we've got this one going. Uh, let's, let's open up a new... Oh! We don't need to open up a new tab. It figured itself out. We got everything opened up on port 80. We're all good to go. See, everything is installed. Uh, let's go change the default HTML page in Nginx. Oh, that's not it. That's actually the, uh, that's actually just the, uh, the, the directory. So let's let's just look at look at that. So if you do an ls on um, user share nginx html, you can see there's our index.html file. That's actually what we want to, to change. So slash index.html. Oops. I like actually to leave my errors in video, so I'm just gonna leave that right there. Um, all right, welcome to Nginx in our new EC2 instance. Save that, come back, refresh, boom. We've now got an EC2 instance up and running. We've got Nginx installed. We've got where we can hit that server on port 80, and I've shown you how to change the default. HTML page. So we are at this point officially done. That's how you get Nginx started, at least right now, before various OS and AWS changes change things. At least for right now, uh, this is a fairly simple process. It's, there's multiple steps, uh, but it's not too complicated once you figure them out, and that's the purpose of this video. So uh, good luck with your Nginx explorations.